Uhu. Huh? Ah! Hello everyone, this is Jim and welcome to episode 33 of our Minecraft Let's Play series. Hope you're well. Um, eating lots of food. Playing lots of Minecraft. <laughs> Being good. Uh, yeah, so today, as you can see, we're in the village. And as you can probably hear, with the villagers in the background there making all their racket. Um, now, we're here today. Now, we're on the snapshots. And so far, two new enchantments have been added to the game. Now, we've seen one. We've got mending on our pick here. So that when we pick up XP, if we're holding the pickaxe, it'll repair our pick. And we can put mending on pretty much everything um, that can be enchanted, which is good. Uh, but so far we've only got this one here, and there's another new enchantment as well, that we, as well that we haven't seen yet. But we can't get these two enchantments on an enchanting table. No. The only way we can get mending and the other one is by finding loot in loot chests, or by fishing, or by trading with the villagers. Aha! So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to focus on trying to, to get some villagers to see if we can get some good enchantments, including the, the mending, but some other ones as well. So the villagers we need to trade with are these guys. Yes, the white ones, the librarians. Each of these guys has enchanted books they can trade, and they have three each. We just have to unlock all of, the, uh, all of their enchants to get access to all three books. So, now this guy, he's got Unbreaking 1, which is not very good, but we would like to unlock the rest. Now, to unlock it though, we need a bit of paper, and uh, I don't have very much paper. <laughs> so, uh, today we'll start with making a little sugarcane farm. We've got sugarcane sort of all around the place here and a little bit there, but no automatic farm for it. So, we're going to start with that today. Um, now, also, since we've been to the village recently... Oh, are you another one? What's this guy got? Fire Aspect 2. Ugh, no good. <laughs> um, yeah, over... Oh, where is he? Ugh, somewhere. We're going to make our way through all these guys over here. Ugh, battling through the villages. We've got this guy. Yes, an iron golem has spawned in our little treehouse here. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how he spawned. I didn't really think that... We'd, uh, we'd meet the spawn kind of specifications to get an iron golem to spawn. Didn't think we had enough doors and things around the place, but sure enough, we've got one. So, he's not doing much good there, though. I don't think he can really move where he is. So he's not really protecting anyone, um, but he's there. <laughs> so, let's have a look. There's one villager I do want to show you down here, if we can get down there. There's this guy, this librarian. The first enchantment he's got is Infinity, for 12 emeralds and a book. Now, we definitely want to keep him. So, if we unlock some more of his, maybe he'll have even some, some other good ones. It is random as to which enchantment they get, though. Um, so, you can be lucky or you could be unlucky. But Infinity is definitely one we want to keep. So, I've chucked him in a minecart, so we know that this guy is one to keep. Yes. But, paper. Paper's what we need, so we need a sugarcane farm. So, what sort of mechanisms are we going to use for our automatic farm? Well, you can get complicated ones, and you can get very simple ones. So, as you can see, I've been playing around with a bit of redstone, and block update detectors, and all sorts of stuff around here, trying to get something to work. Uh, we're just next to the, the Lego man, with his big foot and pick right there. <laughs> um, but what I think we'll go with is something like just over this way. Get this out of the way. Basically, I've got two sticky pistons here on just on a sorry sticky blah 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 blahs slime blocks. That's what they are. Green slime blocks <laughs> on a sticky piston, right? And so if we put that sugar cane there, say it's grown up to there. We've got a bit of a wall there. Get this guy out of the way, like that. Then, if we somehow trigger this, the piston, and go, doot, then this pushes the the uh, breaks the 
sugar cane and launches it right against the wall here. We can launch it quite a distance actually, but uh, I've just done this little example here and then they fall into the little channel I've put here. So I think this is basically the method we're going to go with. Somehow set up a, some, some system to put redstone through the piston here to turn it on briefly and so it'll launch the sugar cane into the wall and then it can go into a little channel we might either maybe use water something like this and then it'll wash it towards a hopper or something um, so that's basically the system we're going to use for our sugarcane farm so many options we can use for, for sugarcane farms but I thought this one might be a bit of fun to to be able to launch the sugarcane into into a wall or something now the next thing though where are we going to put it? Um, yeah, we've got uh, hmm, we've got most of our farms kind of down this way a bit, haven't we? So let's see, round, round, round into the wall. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck in a block or something. Um, hang on, I have found I often get stuck in blocks and things in the in the snapshots lately. Uh, but luckily, you just throw an ender pearl if you can if you've got one on you generally gets you out of pr trouble. So I was thinking we're going to do a farm, well, similar to this in that there's going to be a, a minecart to uh, to head off and, and trigger the pistons, I think, something like that. But uh, in terms of space, well, we've taken up all of this area up here. Oh, and I've fallen down again. <laughs> so I'm thinking we'll put it up right in the walls up there sort of around around those two walls there they're nice and flat and then uh, we'll put another little sort of glass design there up around there above our signs that we haven't looked at in ages I mean look at these these are this is the list of our projects to do and we've done quite a few of them like if we look at this one ender pearl farm we've done that a basic mob farm we've done that auto chicken we've done mm, block display room we're, we're working on that finally um, nether hub we haven't done, storage room we've done, all these things I've got to update the list don't I? <laughs> but I think up there is where we'll put our farms so I've got to do some digging and I'll get some basic things in place and then we can look at how we're going to do the redstone okay so done a little bit of work here so we're basically we're still above the signs here and we've got the sugar cane on a bit of dirt there with some water in front of it then another line of just uh, yellow hardened clay it is yellow <laughs> and then some water pushing things towards that point there and the same over on that side same setup I'm going to do another layer at least one more layer above this as well uh, and then I just want to test the now how many how many slime blocks can be on a piston I think it's 10 isn't it so there's 8, 9, 10, if we put 12, will these get moved? So let's have a look. Let's push this piston here like, and, oh yes, okay, that was 12. What about 14? Can we push 14? No, okay, alright, so get rid of those two, and we can push those like that. Okay, so then if we had, say, just some sugar cane grown there, it launches it, well, it launches it for miles, doesn't it? Uh, oh, and that one there got stuck somewhere, so we might fill in the that little gap there too, just with some pumpkins or something that the slime blocks won't stick to. Uh, and then once we've got the glass along the front here, then that'll block uh, the sugar cane from flying off out all the way out there that's quite far uh, and it'll go into there so uh, I'll keep going and get everything else in place just had to do a quick stop off over here at the Mesa to get some stained clay and hardened clay run out back at the base but uh, yeah one day we will come back here and set up a little oh, set up a little outpost around here um, yeah, yeah, one day and sometime down the track, we'll be back. Alright. Well, I've ended up just doing one layer. Um, we've got room to expand above, but we'll just do the one layer today. 
Uh, now, as you can see, we've got some lava there. We've had that since we moved into this little area uh, at the start of the series. <laughs> um, so I've had to use stained clay there, just the brown stained clay, rather than the wood, because wood catches fire if it's a bit too close to the lava. So we've gone with the stained clay. Uh, hmm. I might have to change the look a bit, but for now that'll do. Ooh. And then to actually get into this place, I've had to dig a little little tunnel through here. And inside, basically what we were thinking, we've got slime blocks there that'll push the uh, the sugar canes up against the glass there. It'll drop into the water streams there and fall into a hopper there that we will put in there soon. Now how are we going to trigger these pistons? So I've got a piston there and there and there and there and we've got four walls, basically four walls of slime blocks ready to do the pushing for us. So well as you can probably see in my inventory, rails, yes. So if we put detected rails right next to the, these pistons like so and then just a normal track on each side there and then powered rails all the way across here one there, 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 Ooh, and we'll put a normal, normal, normal and then detector, detector, powered, powered, powered in there like that. Uh, okay, a bit of power those power rails. I'll temporarily just put these levers here for now and we'll put something a bit nicer later. There like that and then this one like uh, I'll put some more powered rails just at the end here all the way to the end and like that. So hopefully we've powered all the powered rails. It's a bit hard to see isn't it? Um, nah. <laughs> That makes it a bit easier to look, doesn't it? So I haven't done all the ceiling or anything yet with nice wood or something. Given that we might expand up, I'll leave that for now. So now let's just make a minecart and push it along. Like that, and then like that, and we'll start him right at the end. Uh, yes. There he goes. <laughs> Can we see? There it goes, and all the sugar cane gets pushed against the glass, falls down there and down there. Hmm, okay, so this side seemed to go all the way in, didn't it? We, we haven't got any spillage, everything went there. What happened over this side? Oh, okay, so I've got some cobblestone there, so I reckon those have hit that cobblestone and fallen down here, yeah. Uh, this is just a temporary little filler there like that, so we'll just put that something like this and we'll fill that in with something else later. So then that should stop the sugar cane falling along on this spot here. And then we've got a whole heap over here. Uh, so what have we got? Nearly a stack. So I had a few already in my inventory, but we've got now nearly a stack, so that's good. Okay, good, good, good. So, now the thing is, now, how are we going to, no, one of those guys, <laughs> how are we going to trigger this cart to go every now and then, oh, I missed a rail, probably a good thing, because we, we don't want him to keep going backwards and forwards, we want to give the uh, sugar cane a bit of time to, to grow, so we need to be able to trigger the mine cart, maybe every five minutes or something, just to run along and and push the sugar cane out for us. Hmm, uh, what can we use to trigger something every few minutes? Well, with our pumpkin farm over here, we do have a hopper timer running over here, right here, ready to go. It's, it's, it's operational, it's been running, I think, ever since we've set up the pumpkin farm here. And so every now and then it'll trigger a signal which shoots off that cart. Well, what if we sent this signal over to our sugar cane farm as well? We could just uh, lay a bit of redstone going all the way over, um, and it's not that far away from here. So this is on this wall along here, like, like, <laughs> like, 
yeah, it's just in behind there. So we could just send it round to the minecart. If we leave the minecart sitting there, and then the redstone signal could trigger that minecart, and then he could shoot along and back and stop again. So that's probably going to be the way to go, I think. So we're just going to have to dig a little tunnel. Okay, so we've got our tunnel. And just... Doot, doot. Do, 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 do. Mm, repeater, we'll just chuck a repeater every so often. Uh, yeah, so we go sort of out in the world <laughs> and we go just above a little rail line there too, which goes to our centralization system. Uh, something else I've been neglecting a little bit, haven't I? We need to get back to that at some point soon too. And then there, there, up, 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 and just one more repeater, up, up, up. There. Alright. And we go into there. So, not that far a little, little distance, which is good. So we don't have to put too much redstone down. And now, where's the minecart? Over this way somewhere. I think I missed a track, didn't I, over here? So, whoop. And then, powered rail. Whoop. Up. Pick him up, except I haven't got any room. Do now. We've got him now. Okay. So now we can just... Uh, basically hang around and see when we can get a signal. Oh, why'd he move? He shouldn't have moved, that's not powered. <laughs> it's definitely turned off. I think there's a... Oh, it's that me bug... <laughs> it's me bumping it, isn't it? <laughs> that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> Is he coming back? Yep. And good. And stop. Alright. So, yeah. So now the redstone signal will come up and power him there. And hopefully I won't bump it. And uh, should just trigger it like it just did then, except when I bumped it. <laughs> Alright, but now I think we should all be good to go. So, we need to put a hopper down here, of course. Um, and some chests. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I ended up down there. <laughs> uh, Ender pearls, dangerous way to travel. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Next up, um, while we're waiting for... I, I, I want to see it go once, but if we hold on camera, we're going to be sitting around for ages. And as soon as I stop recording, I bet we'll get a redstone signal come up. I bet, I bet. Well, it didn't go as soon as I stopped recording. It didn't go at all. So I had to do, I had to do some checking, I thought. Did I miss some redstone or something? Uh, but the problem turned out to be over here... Now we have here a little pulse shortener here set up so that when this is turned on here it only puts a very brief pulse through the redstone going into our little minecart there and then when this was coming through here this was on just a, a one tick delay and this would stop the signal getting through and going any further. So putting this on a four tick delay like that means now that the redstone signal can make it all the way through. Hmm. Bit of redstone magic there. <laughs> uh, and so now this will work and we'll get triggered by that redstone. And we will get our sugar cane coming out. Alright, well one last thing. Just finish one last thing. I'll get some just some hoppers and some chests in place for now down here. Okay, so just a hopper down there. And uh, underneath here we have just some chests, hoppers chests, simple little setup just to collect all the stuff for us and eventually we'll have to pick all the uh, all the sugar cane up from here and send it to our centralization system when we uh, <coughs> get back to that uh, soon next few episodes I think we better we better get back to that but uh, not today, no not today Ooh, there he goes <laughs> and back so the sugar cane doesn't grow very much in between each time that he comes through, but it'll be enough. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be enough. Hmm. That was the minecart that the villager with the infinity enchantment book was in. There's a door missing. Why is there a door missing? Oh my... Did we did we get a zombie in here? Did he take the good villager, the one we wanted? 
There's, there's plenty around still, but... Huh. I wonder if a zombie spawned somewhere and got some of the villagers and uh, and then burnt up in the daytime. Oh, no. That was a really good one, too. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> All right, let's do some trading with some of the other librarians, though, and see if any of them got anything good. Lure 3? Well, good for fishing. If we, if we wanted to do some more fishing, we'll grab one. Mm -hmm. Next next tray, thank you. Uh, then we have to do one of these junky ones. Uh, what's the cheapest? Uh, three emeralds for a bookshelf. Sure. Okay. There we are. And then... Oh, another junky one we're going to have to do. Alright. And then... Aha! Punch two. Yeah, we'll get a bit more glass. There we go. And finally, he's got flame. Ah, flame. Punch two. Hmm, lure three. Hmm, not much good, is he? This, this, that guy. Um, hmm, hmm. Oh, hello. What's this guy got? Respiration one. I'm just opening up the other ones, and he's got punch one, which is not much good to us. And the last one for him. Oh, did we open him up? We didn't. No, wait. Yes, yes, yes. Where's your nice pretty particles? You don't want to open up your next one? No. Hmm. Hmm, well, I'm out of paper. Now, I was thinking, we always said with our little village here, we are going to do a multi-level one with the houses. Uh, houses down here, tree houses up on the next level, and then we're going to do an underground level down here. So, I think down here, what we might do is put in a little villager sorting system. And then keep the one, the villagers that we want, in little rooms down here somehow. So, we'll want to be able to deflect our villagers that come into up here the station so from our little villager breeder we have our villagers come into this station so we'll want to be able to divert this down to the underground so that uh, we can then sort them once they're underground and because of that hmm, I was gonna say should we turn the villager breeder back on but I don't think we will just yet we better put some rails and things in place first in fact well, we could put another little rail line going down and downstairs, but what if we do something a little bit more fun instead? What if we still have them come along here? Now we have the rail there, the uh, activator rail, to kick them off the minecart when they arrive. What if we had some pistons and things that opened up these slabs and opened up a big hole going down here, down to the bottom level, all the way down, like so, and then dug that down but then put some water down there and then used water streams to push the villagers along and separate them that way. But we're going to need to come up with a little piston contraption that uh, that can open up these slabs above the hole there when we need it and then close it again if we just want the villagers to run around in the village. Hmm, I better do some piston and redstone playing around I think. Right, well I've got a simple little design manual at the moment, no redstone involved with timing, but the pistons, this is what we've been working on here. So there's four blocks up here, uh, <laughs> that you can't see, they got, uh, right, we want to move these four, four blocks down and out of the way, basically. So we are uh, got some other slabs around this outside, we want to make sure these ones don't get moved, but these four do. So down here, we've got some slime blocks there, like that, and another piston here. So this piston here brings them all down like that. There we go, all down, out of the way. Now we've got to move them, move them back, slide them along a bit. So we have this piston here. Oh, these are all sticky pistons, by the way. So we have this piston here, and click, that drags that all the way across, including that bottom piston. And then we have this other piston over here, already extended and we pull him and it pulls them all the way across there including that piston and that piston 
and then we can so like that now we've got this big gap under here like so so our villagers could then fall down here and then to push it back we then just have to do things in reverse order so that one so that piston pushes everything across one block and then this piston pushes everything across one block like so and then this piston pushes the floor back up into place so up here we now have the floor back into place perfect perfect so the next bits getting the redstone timing right um, now it's only a two by two that's that hole might not be big enough for next to the activator rail but if we start putting more blocks and things attached to it then there's too many blocks to move by a piston so um, Mm, might have to have a bit of a play, but that's the general principle that we'll work with. Um, yeah, we might have to we might have to have a bit of a play, see how it goes. But I'll get something in place at least on one side into our little station. Get something like that going. Okay, I think we've got some redstone happening. So basically, we just want to have all the pistons extended when the floor is in place up there. So the floor's in place, and then we just want to turn them off one by one so turn this guy off so he'll retract then turn this guy off and then he'll retract and then turn this guy off and he'll retract so we've got all these red stone we've got a short delay on that one a longer delay here on this one and then an even longer delay on this one um, so we've got what eight ticks four ticks and one tick we probably don't even really need this one but we've got it there just in case uh, and I think Let's see, we'll do... There we go, it's retracted. And there's the hole in the floor, like that. Okay, now turning it back on, because of the delay, this redstone will turn on first, but at the moment there's nothing there for it to power. And then this one will turn on second, and again, there's nothing for this to be powered. And then over here, this one will turn on, and it'll then power this one. So given this one turns on last, it'll push this one out, but this one's already turned on, so it'll keep pushing it. This one will push out straight away. And this one's already turned on, so it should push it back up into place. So, like that. And there it goes. And we have a floor that can move. All right. That wasn't too bad in the end. <laughs> Just trying to figure out what can connect to what and what should be uh, in the timings a bit. And it really didn't work out too hard for us, which was good. All right, we have one bit of the floor ready to go. Um, hmm. And it's raining. <laughs> That's good. Uh, okay, cool. But we've run out of time, guys. Right in the middle of our project here. So next episode, we'll continue on with this. I'll get this one in place and the other one on the other side as well. Um, we may not need both sides, given depends which side the activator rail kicks out the villagers on, so we're going to have to get our villager breeding going again. I might get that started in between episodes, hopefully it'll work, but I won't get the villagers delivered yet. We'll just, uh, we'll just get some villagers up there so we can test our system next episode, uh, and then we can get going and see if this, um, this will work, and then we can get sorting with them down the bottom in the lower level and uh, start getting some good stuff. So, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a leave a like if you did, and we'll see you in the next one.